Well, there are a record number of job openings in the U.S. The Labor Department says more than 9 million jobs were posted in April. With tourism and food service positions at the top of the pack, many business owners are struggling, though, to fill their open jobs. And some Republicans believe extra unemployment benefits are making it more lucrative for people to just stay out of the job market. And as WBZ political analyst John Keller shows us, they're demanding answers from Labor Secretary Marty Walsh. As workers are incentivized to sit at home because of this additional $300 per week. Of That's the favorite GOP line of attack on the Biden unemployment policies these days, and they're sticking with it. Secretary Walsh has much to explain today. Peppering uh, Labor Secretary Marty Walsh at a hearing with their theories about workers choosing federal checks over paychecks. Is it time for this federal emergency employment insurance to be immediately terminated? Uh, I can give you a simple answer to that, no. If there are reasons people aren't going back in the workforce, it's lack of child care, it's school still being hybrid, it's people that haven't been vaccinated. Uh, Chipotle announced a 4% increase in their all of their venue prices across the board to keep up with rising labor costs. I'm, I'm curious, Mr. Secretary, is that, a, is that a good sign or a bad sign for our economy? I think the fact that they want to pay their workers more is a good sign. When that went nowhere, they zeroed in on disputed accusations Walsh ignored domestic violence claims against his choice for Boston Police Commissioner Dennis White. Do you assert that Mr. Gross and or Mr. White lied with these sworn affidavits and sworn statements? And I never received a file uh, on, on Dennis White. Mr. Biden won't admit to the corrupt dealings of his own son, Hunter. Uh, it's fail his failure to set high standards for his cabinet which should come as no surprise. Welcome to Washington 2021. So, John, uh, what does the public think about this claim that people are choosing benefits over work? The most recent polling shows a slim majority uh, agree that the benefit should be cut short. Uh, only four of the 25 Republican states that have said they're going to end it actually have concrete plans to do so. So that's interesting, and the whole thing ends in September anyway. How this will all play out come the midterms next year, that might as well be 100 years away. Right, that would be like an eon. But, uh, but I'll tell you something, Marty Walsh sure got his baptism today down in D.C., home of innuendo, smear, and personal destruction politics. Welcome to D.C. Want a friend? Get a dog. Right? Exactly. All right, John Keller, thanks so much. Anna